Hey, so Sean. Awesome. Yeah, Trish, what's up? Is it me or is this luxury living? This right here makes me a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of our happier camper. You know what would be even more magical? What's that? If we were out with our rear luxury living RVs. Oh, right. we're going to get into a segment right now. Rear luxury living is what it's all about because we're going to step up, step it up a notch and show you just how luxurious being on the road with your home yes. can be. There is nothing that takes the place, honey, of having your home, the comfort, the convenience with you. And as Sean says, I have become converted because I like it bougie. And you're about to see what real luxury living looks like. Oh my goodness, we are so ready for this. And the good news is you don't have to worry about airline tickets no. or anybody else being in your hotel room. No. This is your home away from home. And what do you say we take a look at what rear luxury living is all about. Take it away, guys. Oh, Trish, Sean, we'll show you some rear luxury living. Oh, Will we not? Let me tell you, it is best for families, best for couples, best for everybody that just wants to enjoy the outdoors in an RV. It's rear living luxury style. I'll tell you, Chris, I'm pretty excited, buddy, because I get to show a gorgeous rear kitchen. It just yes. happens to be the Outback 332ML, or as my Ooh. good friend Chris Young likes to say, the, the chalet, chalet on wheels. wheels. Oh, I love it. All Let right, buddy. You. Well, I'm going to go check this one out. Go have fun with it. I'll see you in a Arctic Wolf here in a bit. All right. Here we go. Come on up. All right. We're actually going to go all the way to the front here for a couple reasons, because there is some really, really cool stuff on the outside of this Outback. First off is this right here. Folks, this is the BAL leveling system. This is an auto level system. That is something that is extremely rare to find on a travel trailer. We see it in some of your higher end fifth wheels. Very rarely, very few brands put it on a travel trailer and I love the Outback did it because folks, this is one touch of a button. Super simple and easy to use. This bad boy is gonna level itself out so you can get to camping that much quicker. Of course, propane right behind that. But folks, look at the front. Do you know what that is? That's a full front cap. Once again, we talk about things a little more rare, something that really sets the Outback apart. That's another one. There used to be a lot of manufacturers that had a front cap. They started going away from them. Outback didn't, they stuck to it. They know the value. They know that it's gonna protect that front end of the camper. So that way you're not gonna get leaks on the front end. It's gonna give you extra insulation value. You have this awesome rock guard right down underneath. Very sleek looking, the LED lights, I mean, they knocked this thing out of the park. And look at this, again, folks, full cap wraps all the way around to the side. Big kudos to Outback. When we talk about luxury, that is definitely the sign of a luxury travel trailer right there. Then we come into your front storage. And what did they do? They're like, hey, we know you don't wanna have to reach all the way in there. You can't climb in there, it's tough. So they give you this tray so you can reach all the way to the back, fully utilizing this storage space. You'll also see in here is your solar charge control. Controller. That's what this little blue box is right there. You can connect to that via Bluetooth. You have an app that you can track everything, your incoming power, everything you need to know will be on there. You can see trends, everything else. Plus, it is prepped for an inverter. This one has the Solar 200. If you want to upgrade to the 400, folks, get that inverter. So you have some inverted outlets plus more solar up top. You can definitely get it here in the Outback. Outside TV hookups there with your electrical outlet. Naturally, we are under the power awning right up top, some speakers if you wanna jam out to some music, or if you wanna be out here and listen to music and maybe do a little bit of cooking, well, we can do that too. Because right out here is our outside kitchen. Two burner cooktop that is built in. Now bear in mind, this plugs into a propane quick connect underneath. So, you know, if you got a, a Blackstone or something you wanna hook up, shoot, go ahead and do it. You can leave that sucker tucked in, put your Blackstone right there, good to go. Plenty of drawer space here for your bottle openers or whatever else you need, spatulas, forks, plasterware, you got it. Large refrigerator, more storage up top. You have the uh, kind of metal countertops out here, which I like, it's super easy to clean, and an electrical outlet. So that way, if you need to plug in an electric griddle or you know, Margaritaville machine or making margaritas, let me know, I'll be there, we'll party. Uh, but that gives you the spot to plug it, plug it in right there. Again, part of the auto level system. You can see that right along the back. Those are going to be your stabilizer jacks, fully enclosed and heated and insulated underbelly. And 
This one has backup camera prep on the back in case you do want to back up. You'll also see the roof line, how it kind of comes over a little bit there, folks. I'm telling you, they absolutely knocked it out of the park with this thing. Your Lippert solid steps. You have the foldable grab handle, and then we come inside and, oh, baby. Man, did they do a good job. Folks, we talk about luxury. I mean, this is it. This is it right here. I get to sit back. I love that they went to cloth seats. For the longest time, manufacturers shied away from cloth. They used to have it all the time. And then they went away from it and they went to this leatherette and there's nothing wrong with it. It's easy to clean, but there's something about cloth that I really, really like. You know, this is what I have on my furniture at home and for good reason, I love it. You'll see right here, you have a spot for your remote, some cup holders, naturally the theater seating. Both of these do recline and right across the way. Oh my goodness. Huge TV, beautiful, a ton of storage all the way around. I love the slide fascias and the sides of the slide. You know, it kind of has like this uh, two-toned wood look. You can see that massive fireplace down underneath. Look at that thing, Kev. That is a big fireplace, buddy. Not only does that look gorgeous, but it's all also almost nearly 5,000 BTUs. That thing is putting out, meaning that it's going to heat this space up. You have a barreled ceiling. You know, I. I'm six foot tall, guys. Don't know if you heard. If you haven't seen it, haven't heard about it, you yeah, haven't watched my videos because I've been told I say it a lot. But I want you to get an idea of size. I want you to get that frame of reference, right? You can see I am six foot tall and I still have a ton of space. You have the AC unit right here, but it has the blade system. This blade system is phenomenal. It's going to knock down that noise by about 30 to 35 percent and it's going to be a 360 degree vent so it's much more even cooling we make our way to the back here you have the dinette right next to your theater seating easily seat four people there it's a what they call you know legless essentially you can see that right there that you know it has a little bit different system you don't have the legs right here that you're fighting with you can drop that down into a bed no carpet in the slide either and look how it just blends seamlessly or yeah seamlessly right yeah that sounds right you can't even what i'm trying to say is you can't even tell that it's there you don't even really know that it is a slide they did a perfect job of tying all that in yeah, some extra extra storage right back here open that up for you so you can take a look so good pantry storage one of the things i really appreciate there's a lot of manufacturers that make a floor plan that's uh, kind of similar to this what Outback did is they made sure that this slot, uh, that this door could open all the way up. Folks, I know that seems silly. You're like, Ian, why wouldn't they? I'm telling you, you'll see some out there that you're only able to open it about this far because it's going to hit the slide. It's that small attention to detail that I really, truly appreciate. You'll also see its magnetic closure. That again, having that magnetic catch, I like that over the push style. It works a lot better. Your refrigerator, you have the 12 volt GE refrigerator. Why do I love that in here? Well, because it's 12 volt, it's gonna run off your battery. I don't know if you remember when we were outside, but I mentioned this one already has the 200 watt standard. If you wanna upgrade that to 400, you can, and that's gonna help power your battery, which means that your refrigerator is gonna basically be able to last indefinitely, which is awesome. It stays nice and cool. You don't have to wait for it to cool down like you do on the gas absorption. Absolutely fantastic job. Then we get into the rest of the kitchen, folks. True solid surface countertops on here. Got a little sparkle flake. Love the way it looks. You'll see that recessed three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Nice large oven plus additional storage underneath there. And one of the other things I love they did in the kitchen is the backsplash. If you talk to my friend Trish, she'll tell you with your backsplash and RVs, you need to go all the way up. And that's exactly what they've done in Outback. They didn't you know, stop right here where it breaks your eye line. They went all the way up. Really cool design, electrical outlet in the back. So you have a spot for your coffee maker. You have the sink right over here to the side with the drying racks, the high rise faucet underneath. Look at that. Enough storage for a trash can. I love when they do that. I hate having a trash bag out, plenty of room there. Lots of drawer space and all of this countertop prep space. And this is what the rear kitchen is about. This is living in luxury. You have amazing seating, the fireplace. You can see your big, beautiful solid surface countertop storage all the way across the top. Wine rack for one of those late nights, you know? Maybe if you're like my wife watching The Bachelor, trash show by the way, but you know, hey, she loves it and I sit there and drink wine with her, so why not? 
Uh, you'll also see all the way around is more storage. All right, it's not that bad of a show, it's fine. Uh, making our way up, take, take, show you a look at the uh, bathroom here. So as we come into the bathroom space, you have a porcelain bowl, good leg space, you know, plenty of room for my shoulders. Shower right in front, big sink over to the side, linen closet. I love having that extra storage space as I take a step in the shower. Again, just to give you an idea of space here, you can see no problem. I can stand up here, especially with that skylight. Shoot, Kev, I could be 6'3 and still stand in here. Plenty of room. Because it is Neo Angle, I'm able to turn nice and easily. I like the door design too. You know, again, they didn't have to put anything in, but they did. They amped it up a little bit, made it a little bit nicer. Here, I'm going to shut this, Kev. Why don't you meet me up here in the bedroom just to kind of show everyone that, hey, you have two different entrances and exits into the bedroom, which is cool because then you can just go right into the bathroom. If you're like me and, you know, you have to get up a few times in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, well, you can do that and not trip all over. Just walk right in, do your business, come right back to bed. You'll see you have a dresser at the foot of the bed. Gotta love that. Open this up. And that's right, what do we have in there, folks? Not only do you have shelving, but if you want, you have washer dryer prep. And that's a huge one. That again, is something we don't find very often in travel trailers. You'll see it in higher end fifth wheels, pretty rare in travel trailers. I love that they have that option. Don't get me wrong, the majority of people don't get one because they don't stay long enough in their camper to justify it, but if that's something you're interested in, and maybe you don't want the fifth wheel, you like the travel trailer, write this one down. This is the Outback 332 ML. You definitely want to, uh, you know, if, again, if you're looking to spend a lot of time in it, you want washer dryer, this is one of them. But real quick on some specs, this one's a little under 38 foot long, I think it's like 3710. Uh, you're about 8,700 pounds dry or so. Um, so, you know, you wanna make sure you have the vehicle to tow it, but three quarter ton truck should be good. Right up front here, is your wardrobe, great wardrobe space. You got the rod there, you got the storage up top. As we take a look at the bed, look at that folks, king size bed, right? Talking about luxury, you wanna live like a king. This will let you do it, you got the king size bed, you have windows on both sides of the slide for cross ventilation, roller shades on there too, I may add. Those are fantastic, they just work. I also like that the headboard, once again, kind of like they did in the kitchen, they took it all the way to the top of the cabinets, thank you. That way it's not breaking that eye line. Storage all the way across the top. Second AC here in the bedroom to make sure you're staying nice and cool. TV hookup over there on the wall. So that way if you wanna watch a movie, you can certainly do that. And the last thing I wanna hit on folks, right underneath, take a look at that. At first you may have thought, oh Ian's gonna show us some storage, but do you know what this is? That's a dog kennel. How cool is that? They know that you know a lot of us have dogs and we wanna take them with us, right? They're part of our family. This lets you do that. Your dog wants to sleep underneath your bed. I know what happens all the time. This gives them the ability to do that. Plus you still have storage right over here to the side. Perfect for you know your dog food, whatever else you need to put in there, maybe bedding, who knows? But they still give you the storage plus the dog kennel. You know, it's no wonder my good friend Chris Young calls an Outback a chalet on wheels. Folks, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It truly is luxury rear living. And for me, that's one of the coolest things is that we have so many different RVs available in stock. As you've heard, if you've been watching folks, over 40,000 RVs in stock. If you love this Outback 332 ML, you can tow this sucker away today. It can be yours. You don't have to get it, you know, order it and wait five, six months you can have this one today. And maybe you're looking for something a little bit different. Maybe you're like, I like that, but I want some changes. Well, don't worry folks, there's plenty of rear livings we have in stock. My man Chris is gonna show you one right now. Wow. We're waiting, Abby. We love camping because it gets us outside and this is our playground. This is where we adventure. This is where we find inspiration. And this is what we love to do. It's a lifestyle for us. We're here! In, honey. We're out here in the beautiful Arizona desert getting off the beaten path. So here's some of our best tips and tricks for off-grid camping. Off-grid camping means you're gonna wanna have all your essentials and necessities with you because you're not gonna have your amenities close by. So you can never have too much water in the desert. Always make sure to top off the water supply before you hit the road. Now you may not have cell reception when you're out here, so that means you're gonna to wanna to have some analog mapping. 
bring an atlas in the RV, or even just download a digital map right to your phone. Oh, check this out. Make sure to fill up on gas before you head out and bring an extra gas can just in case. And you want to make sure you camp in areas where you can go play outside and do the things you love to do. Sunscreen is important anytime you're outside, but especially out here in the desert. So don't forget to use a high SPF and reapply often. Always make sure to bring the tools to swap out a flat tire and make sure your spare tire is in great shape. In case of emergency, it's important to have a satellite communication device, especially when you're off grid camping. Waterproof matches or a lighter are a must when you're out here to start a fire because when the sun goes down, it gets chilly. As a professional makeup artist, camping allows me to get out into nature and always re-inspires my creativity. Since the epicenter for adventure, this here is a perfect base camp. Oh! Oh, rookie. Hey. Rookie mistake. Camping in an RV allows us to get out and experience something new and different on every trip. We're super stoked for the next adventure. <laughs> How amazing is that? Wow, looks yeah. good. Big dog, you absolutely crushed that chalet on wheels, baby. Thank and you, you're sir. right. You're right about two things specifically. All right. It, if people want the chalet on wheels for a travel trailer, Outback's the way to go. And that show is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sorry, know why. everyone. Yeah, sorry. Look, if you're a fan of that show, <sighs> I, I, I can't help you. But what we can help you with is some more rear luxury RVs. Yes, that sir. Are just not only fit for space, fit for style, but also fit for budget. And with it being camping world, you're going to find over 40,000 RVs on the lots right now that you can take home today. You can't camp in an order form if you That's go right. to a show, plain and simple. So if you've been looking for a fifth wheel, you just saw the travel trailer. Let me talk to you a little bit about a fifth wheel, the 291 RL Arctic Wolf. Big dog. Go you know, get it, buddy. I'm you know excited about this, this one. one. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Great size, man. Great size. Under 34 feet, under 8,500 pounds dry for a fifth wheel that can sleep for. The great thing about the Arctic Wolves, they are the midsize, luxurious, but spacious couples coaches. And we're going to start, Fritz, we're going to pop out. I know it's the AC is dripping back here, so watch just a little bit. I want to show you a couple of things that Cherokee is known for. Number one, we got the rack that's built in to the back of the RV. Having that is so awesome. Plus, we got the grill that can be mounted right here on the plate in the back that swings around. So if you want to do that outside grilling, you don't have to worry about where you're going to put it. And this one does come with the grill that fits on there. Plus, we got the rear observation camera there. You see the beautiful arch on the ceilings on this beautiful fifth wheel with the three inch rain nozzles to keep the water off the slides and off of you. And speaking of the slides, insulated all the way around beautiful graphics, foam insulation, large panoramic windows that we are going to see once we get on the inside. And if you notice, I'm kind of holding the palm mount in my hand. Another great innovation because Cherokee and Forest River, when they teamed up, they really put together a think tank for RVs. Ones that th they said, you know what, we're going to challenge the industry. We want to give people something that isn't just a cookie cutter floor plan. We want you to feel like it's your home and it's your special home, not the one that's in a campsite right next to you. We want to give you something that you're going to love that's going to last for a long time. You got aluminum rims on this bad boy. You got the Dexter Easy Lube axles. You got the Accessibelly underbelly with forced air heat down there to keep the tanks heated when in transit. So if you're going through cold weather, you don't get that nasty black tank or gray tank busting. And look, when you got a 49 gallon fresh and dual 35s, 35 gallon gray, 35, they bust. It's a bad day. That's a bad day nobody wants. Fritz, do you want that? No, nah, Fritz don't want that either. Jace, do you want that? No. I don't want, nobody wants, you don't want that. That's why Forest River's giving you the forest heat. Solid steps, 
Plus, you got the magnetic anti-slam latches on all your storage doors. You'll see right here, there's your grill that'll be mounted on the back. This is pass-through storage with the motion sensing light, cable hookup, as well as 110 outlet that's a GFCI, all with the cables that come right through the porthole right here because you don't want exposed connections on the outside of your RV. It, sure, there is a good security measure, but more than anything, if you got the kids running around the campsite or if you got, you know, you're active, you're out here doing some things, you don't want to accidentally knock the TV connection out, knock the power out. That's also going to be a bad day. You also got the 1500 pound tie down right there, the leash latch, giving you some safety and security for the four legged friends while they're out. Large awning, adjustable, the Solera power awning with the LED light strip. And since it's Forest River and the Arctic Wolf by Cherokee, you got to have the blue lights, both on your driven external marine grade speakers and on the light because you get, look, you just got to get funky with the blue Abba D Abba Do. Got the Rhino box, pin box there, storage underneath, full rounded edge cap right here with double insulation. Plus, it's got that aggressive profile, that aerodynamic that just gives you less wind resistance while going down the road. Beautiful setup at the campsite, beautiful going down the road, just like our 100% tent tempered glass door right here that is thin shade ready on the inside, serves to help cool the coach down as well as give you some privacy. When we go on the inside, this is what I'm talking about. Spacious, mid-sized couples coach. Now sure, this 33 foot, six inch beauty will sleep four people comfortably because right here along the back wall, you'll see not only dominating with that giant panoramic window with the solid wood balances, and the residential styled LED sconces, we have a pull-out hide-a-bed sofa. Comfortable, plush, thick, and let me tell you, it seems like every year, the cushions inside the RVs just get thicker and more comfortable. This right here, plush, comfortable, gets a good night's sleep. If you do want to bring the, gang, the grandkids or if somebody's visiting, you got the space to let them sleep right there. Dual 110s on both sides, as well as USB charging, and with our, uh, end tables you got the live edge around the end tables and cubby storage now i know trish isn't a fan of these but i am sorry trish i love you but zebra shades because it gives you a chance to kind of adjust the light plus to me it just looks cool i want form i want function but i also want something that is going to be kind of cool so having the zebra shades was a very nice innovation that cherokee kind of hangs their hat on being able to provide you the innovation as well as the form and function, including the palm mount. This is the back that goes on your TV. If you want to set this in the bedroom, you want to set this outside, or you want to mount it right here in the entertainment center, just slides right in place. And now you don't have to have three separate TVs when you're doing the entertaining, because as a couples coach, do you really need three TVs anyway? No, just pick it up and move it around. Don't waste the money. There's no need. Beautiful solid wood style cabinetry here with these shaker style cabinets with the matte black features on the pulls plus the frosted glass inlay that's also textured giving you some deep storage inside this Arctic Wolf and we do have the blue backlight which just adds nice ambiance especially if you have a nice big TV like here, right here like a 50 inch LED hanging on the wall that blue backlight actually does make it look good especially at night and it serves as a good night light component shelf down there you got your driven AM FM command center, which does have near field. It's also dual zone, USB and HDMI and our electric fireplace. Kicking out some heat right there. You're looking at roughly 4,000 BTUs of heat coming off of there, along with your 35,000 BTU heater inside this 291 RL. You're gonna do a good job of keeping the insulation where you, or keeping the temperature where you want it because the insulation's gonna help out too. You got two inch foam core all the way around this unit, including on the floor down here, which is the known as the sweep easy floor. Because if you notice, there's no heat ducts in the floor. You also won't get any soft spots there and it'll be easier to clean. You don't have to worry about the particles falling into a vent, which might be on the floor. Comfort and convenience. You're gonna get that a lot when you're talking about the Arctic Wolf. Over here on the campsite, before we get to the kitchen, you got the beautiful nestled under those giant panoramic windows, extra wide, two-seater recliners with massage, heat, and light. Plus, you got the console in the middle to hide all the magazines, the remotes. Got your cup holders right here. Good space, and you got the windows behind you. And let me tell you, people say you can't sleep in a recliner. 
I have done it a few times, probably more than I should, but it, when you open up those windows, especially if you're at the beach or the mountains at night, you got the fireplace going, you kick that thing out and you get the heat and massage going, I'm out. I'm out, I'm sleeping. I'm older though, probably much older than people watching this, especially in Florida, but being a Virginia, North Carolina boy, by the way, I'm sorry y'all are getting horrible weather right now because it's beautiful down here in Florida. Please don't dislike me for that. Dislike me for the giant 789 head and the fact that I sleep in the recliners. Got the freestanding four-seater dinette right here with the Live Edge solid wood table. Once again, got the little inlay here with the LED lights with residential sconces, zebra shades, and the solid wood valances. And since we do have opposing slides, opens up this space allowing for an island kitchen. Got that pressed surface designer countertop here with the molded edges. Gone is the T-mold, in is the bevel and the designer look and feel. Plus you got the undermounted stainless steel sink, farmhouse style with the apron and the matte black featured sprayer handle giving you four corner access to cleaning those pots and pans or spraying off that giant turkey that you're gonna be baking in the oven over here. Look at all the storage space that you have here too. Good utensil drawer right there. Yeah, nice and separated. Look at that, Cam. Look at it. Solid wood, full extension on the ball bearing drive. And if you notice, I don't know if you can see it or not, but what's down in there, Kev? What do you see down in there? You got the blue lights inside your island over here. Because why not? If we're Forest River, we putting a blue light on something. It's a party. It's a party. Just like my dad would put shag carpet in anything, Forest River's gonna put a blue light in something. You got more of those frosted glass inlays right here on your storage cabinets right above your prep area and your off campsite kitchen. Tons of storage, tons of space, tons of convenience inside your 291 RL. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover, the 16 inch graystone oven, plus the pot and pan drawer underneath. And how about this? This to me I thought was just such a cool thing. They gave you a wood cutting board that doubles as a backsplash that also are magnets to keep it in place so it won't be flopping around while you're driving down the road. Add that to the fact that we got the Everchill 12 volt fridge, freezer combo, vibration smart, frost resistant, just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Read my lips, it's coming out. And oh, speaking of North Carolina boy, go ahead. You can find me in Kernersville. Love that little area, great camp in there. Filling up this map as we're out here in Florida. Got the dual USB charging and 110 outlet over here for our little coffee station. And you got the frosted glass inlay in the pantry here with the light, some good storage shelves. Also goes all the way up to the ceiling. Right here is our 15K BTU AC. Plus we got the wood inlay with the LED sconces here and my eight inch driven subwoofer. Now, coming up here, you got the LCI one control, which you can do from your cell phone. Great little additional feature, just Bluetooth in, control some of the features of this RV right there. You do got your 110 heater here as well. All your controls, HVAC controls, Come into the bathroom here, and I gotta tell you, my buddy Ben Hanlon that works for uh, Forest River, he does this, uh, this little test on the uh, shower door. And let me tell you, I'm not gonna do it because I think I might hit a little bit harder than Ben, but he would pull this shower door out and just punch it because it's almost indestructible. But I like how it, you got more entry space and you still have a privacy door inside your shower. Large inlay here in the skylight, corner notches inside my 36 by 48 shower. Large sink right here as well with the matte black features, 110 outlet, linen storage. Got the vanity right there, the pocket door. And we come into the suite with the queen size bed. Come on, kid. Palm mount over here in the corner with my cable hookup, my second 15,000 BTU air conditioner right here inside the sly, or right here inside the front cap. And you notice you got over six feet of head clearance in the front cap. Great since this is your bedroom because you won't have such a low shelf underneath the queen size bed with the blue light, because it's Forest River. Got the LED lights there. Ward storage on both sides. The 291 RL, 33 feet, six inches, roughly 8,400 pounds dry, giving rear living luxury to the fifth wheels. And speaking of luxury, 
such a great luxury pick here, but wait till you see the picks Ian and I have coming up for you right now. I gotta go.